this short tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to create those looping textures that are all the rage at the moment using just one image. Here's an image of a texture that I just grabbed offline and I'm going to start by creating a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, we're going to add the effect offset. So if we just search for offset and bring this onto our adjustment layer, all we're going to do is add an expression to the shift center to. So if we hold option or alt and click on stopwatch, then we're just going to type in wiggle, open bracket 25, which is my frame rate, comma, and then a really big number here. So let's go with 5,000. And if we click off, and if we play this through, you will see that our texture is now jumping around. However, there is probably two things you've noticed. The first is that it's moving way too fast. And the second is that we're getting these edges where our texture has been tiled. And that isn't really what we're going for. We want it to be a seamless loop where you can't really see any edges and it just looks like it's multiple textures all just looping one after the other. So let's address this second point first. And to do this, all we need to do is on our adjustment layer, add the effect motion tile bring this onto our adjustment layer and let's drag it on top of our offset. So it's happening first, it happens in order that it's layered in. And on our output width and output height, let's increase these from 100 to 200. And you'll see nothing has happened until we click this mirror edges. And then there you go. Now our texture is still tiled, but rather than it being a repeat, it's now a mirror of itself. So if we now play this through again, so it is still moving way too fast, which we will address shortly, but you'll notice now that our texture is jumping around, but we're not seeing that sharp edge that we were seeing before after we added our motion tile. For the speed, what we're going to do is on the same adjustment layer is add the effect posturize time. So let's bring this on and this can go at the bottom. And this is our frame rate. You can lower this number to anything you like. The smaller the number, the steppier the animation will be. So play around until you're happy, but I'm going to go with five for mine. And let's play this through and see how it's looking. And there you have it. We can now bring this into our main composition along with any other looping textures we've made with this process and go nuts creating mats and overlays until we're completely happy with our finished animation.